have answered that one. I got that one right. <laughs> Well, Carrie Joe, on, on behalf of, of, of the board, and, and they may have something to do, but we just want you to know how proud we are of you, uh, and, and that that story is, 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 is wonderful. Thank I know you. your sister is also part of the team, and, and uh, not to not acknowledge her and, and all of your other uh, classmates that compete with you, but but your score is something special, and, and we want to acknowledge you in, in, in that. Uh, and uh, acknowledge uh, your achievement and, and look forward to hearing yet more good things when it comes to academic competition uh, over the years with you here at Florida State Schools. Uh, does, your, does your coach or your mom and dad and your principal have anything they want, they want to add to that? I do want to footnote what we talked about there. Now, her 50 was the only 50 in the state this year. This year, okay. On, at the district level. Then she went on to region and at region she was number one in the region and she scored a 45. Wonderful. so the next day we researched that that was the highest score in the state on I that test that. as well <laughs> so, and then after 10 years you can renew by going through um, another process which I'm not really sure how that works but it's a, a smaller process and so it's, 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 it was very challenging because I was doing that as well as working on my master's so I had I was juggling both of those things last year and of course Ms. Ryan is a, is a fifth grade right. teacher at the Lucy East Elementary and again, Andre, we, we just want to congratulate you and, and publicly acknowledge your your uh, your work and your accomplishment. And uh, again, the, the board have to say of just how proud we are of you. And, and, and as as I've shared with several other teachers that have asked about the national board certification, I've had you several. see that uh, you set the bar not only for today. But for future teachers, years down the road, that, that as we continue to cultivate uh, NBC certified or NBC teacher training on standards, but and the drive was uh, was one of her own. She was the first. So congratulations! I also just acknowledge that uh, we do have another teacher who was also national board certified, uh, uh, Miss Lindy, uh, the science teacher at Crawford, but she earned her national certification while she was teaching in Elliott County, right? But we do want to acknowledge her also as being national board certified here in our faculty and staff. Right. Um, in conversation with the Department of Education already, uh, we we feel confident and comfortable that that just without any other action by the commissioner or anything, that we can we can make up five days. We can add five days back to the calendar. Um, already, um, we can request three days just automatically. That's this is part of the, of the laws that are already there. Um, we can uh, we'll probably ask the board uh, when we actually get around to modifying the calendar that um, we uh, go to school on the day that we had scheduled as a day to day in the spring that we have an attendance uh, on that day. Um, and uh, if you look at the calendar, we will be most likely in school on what would usually be a May 26th Memorial Day, and we would ask that we attend school on that day. So so we have five days that we can amend really with, with little to no little to no problem. Um, and that would move the calendar back then to June the 10th, uh, potentially. Um, now you may have seen the media, you may have read in your KSBA news page, whatever, that the Department of Education already has a couple sponsors in the, in the House and the Senate to push forward uh, a bill that would give the commissioner uh, the prerogative to grant school districts up to 10 disaster days uh, beyond the 20 days already missed. Um, and, and those, again, would have to be approved by the commissioner. Um, that hasn't, that's not in place yet, but, but the department has committed to doing that. And, and if we did that, uh, that would put us, move us back to June 2nd uh, for the last day of school, which is even more user-friendly. 
Um, and I will just advise you, I've had several people when I've been out in the mail that have asked about spring break. Um, and, and, and my response to them is that when we went back and looked at our minutes from last year, um, our minutes, um, when we set the 13-14 calendar, uh, we said that one full week of spring break is guaranteed. Um, I've also been uh, told, or people have also shared with me, that they have airplane tickets already for spring break week. They have hotel reservations. Um, we we have uh, a couple teams that will be traveling. Um, it's it's five days. Um, If we can get out of school on June the 2nd, um, I think the spring break week really might come in kind of handy because if you look at, if you look at the potential for us now, uh, we're going to be going to school for the next um, almost 20 weeks nonstop. And, and that break actually might come in handy just, just for a little bit of, of relief there the first, first week of April. But, we don't have it on the agenda tonight. We don't, we don't really need to move on it quite yet uh, because we'd like to wait and see what, uh, by this time next month, um, we at least should be through with winter weather, let's hope. Um, and whereas we could then uh, look at a calendar that would be pretty firm. Um, and uh, by then the legislature should have also granted the commissioner um, the authority to grant the 10 disaster days. And, the department will have laid out the process for us to do that also, um, uh, Mr. C. But uh, um, we're looking at uh, on our own, perhaps if we didn't miss another day after, if we didn't miss another day of school, um, June 10th, um, with the assistance of the department, we, we could move that back possibly as early as June 2nd. Um, and that's not doing anything with the spring break days, Mr. C. I've heard some discussion and I've also, as a matter of fact, WSAZ TV tonight laid out the possibility for West Virginia schools to go on Saturday. So, I don't want to go there yet, but yeah. uh, uh, I, I would that, just, that was on the news. Yeah, I, I, I missed that. I, I would just add that I was principal at the middle school, especially you were on the faculty then, I, I remember, I think, and uh, uh, when we went to school, I don't remember exactly what year it was, but we missed law school. We went two Saturdays in a row, and by the time we got around to the second Saturday, it was it was about ugly. <laughs> it was a disaster. <laughs>